All right. All right. The next thing we want to do is get our um, firewall back to uh, routed mode, and the way we're going to do that is we're going to do the no firewall transparent command, and that should get rid of transparent mode. So you show firewall. That says router. We'll do show run to look at what the configuration looks like. And if we look at this configuration, um, there is nothing there. I, mean, I shouldn't say nothing there because there's words there. But there's no, the interfaces are not configured uh, in any usable way. So what we're going to do is we're going to put it in factory, in factory default configuration. So we're going to do configure factory default. And it's going to run, uh, and we will let it run and just hit the space bar until it finishes. So now we are uh, sitting with our factory default config, which is what we want. So it's good. Um, we are now going to have to do some network changes cabling changes uh, to move on to the next step. The next step is we're going to um, use a web interface, a, a GUI, a Java GUI interface to do some configurations of the of the uh, device. So that was my connection to the outside which broke because we broke the firewall. So that's expected. So anyway, uh, we're going to want to recable our things temporarily uh, so that we can do the, the basic config we need to do. So uh, I'm going to stop this video and start another one once I get my changes made and my uh, remote session reestablished so that I can uh, record it. So I'll be back in a moment.